This is a video to show you the introductory process of retrimming a TR3A, TR3B front seat. Uh, so the framework here, as you can see, it's an aftermarket framework and it's the slightly later style framework with the recessed uh, section in the base pan there. So also worth noting that some of the TR4s also used this style of framework here. But apart from the recessed pan, which also affects the spring unit here, which I'll get to in a second, the seat foam kit is identical. It's also worth noting that this seat frame and seat foam kit and springs are applicable effectively to two style seat covers. You've got the TR3A, TR3B, then you've got what we refer to as the TR4 early style, which is the ones where they went on the exact same framework, but the pleats went a different direction. Instead of horizontal, which was the TR3A, 3B, the TR4 Early's had vertical pleat lines on it. Not to be confused with the late style TR4s, which also had vertical pleats, but had a completely different tubular frame setup. So bear that in mind. Right, so what we've got here, aftermarket frames with the recess there, you'll see we've got our seat springs here, which have the extra bit on the bottom, which sits in that recess there, our label there. And then the seat foam kit, which we've trimmed up to different points here. You've got the cushion elements, cushion base elements. So you have the scrim that goes around the spring here, you then have the foam that sits on top and the banana shaped piece, which goes around. As you can see here, we've trimmed this one up to that spec there. So the scrim goes on first. And the idea of the scrim is one, it protects the foam and the cover from the spring element but actually the main reason is it allows you to get a good bit of tension onto the spring to uh, keep it nice and taut as you can see there now for most people you just want it to be semi-taut you know not too much pressure on it uh, but then for slightly bigger people taller whatnot heavier uh, you might want to wish to actually move the seat base cushion down significantly so that you sit lower in the car and this allows you to do that so you can effectively put a load of pressure on that and you use hog rings there to tie the scrim around effectively if you don't have hog rings or a hog ring tool then something like cable ties works absolutely fine uh, so yeah just bear that in mind so the first thing you do is the scrim around there getting the right pressure on it you then put the foam around and uh, we find the easiest way of doing this is to effectively get the foam like this upside down pop that on there put some marks on so you know the center glue just using a basic upholstery glue two surfaces together and you'll end up with this lip going around and then that is where this banana shaped piece goes around and so you'll uh, have a bit of an overlap which will trim off there it's also worth putting a center notch on this section here so that you can basically keep it all the way around and even trim off any excess that you might have and you'll end up with this here uh, you can see we've trimmed this around onto the bottom here you may get rid of some of this during the actual fitment process of the covers but it's best at this point to leave it all intact there gives you a nice bit of flexibility if you need it so that's effectively how the uh, base spring gets trimmed up before you put any of the covers on there moving on to the actual framework itself You'll notice we've got a tilt frame and a non-tilt. The tacking strips on them, you can see, go in the base area of the backrest there. Now, obviously on the tilt one, it goes slightly higher up, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's uh, in that rough position. These are our kits here, uh, which are a hardboard material. So you'll need to get this curvature on there. You'll just need to soak them in water for about 20 minutes, half an hour to make them nice and soft and then you can bend them round, uh, keep them in place with some clips. Uh, we've used rivets there and a bit of glue and let it dry and it will dry to that element there. You then have on the bottom here, some tacking strips. Now, strictly speaking on a tilt frame, you actually don't need these bottom ones here. I've just done it as a demonstration because obviously on the tilt version, it doesn't get trimmed round in the same process there because it gets tucked around the actual tilt element. Whereas on the fixed one here, they are on there, but they're underneath that foam bit, which will trim back as and when we trim the seat. So the tacking strips, 
you then have the backrest element here. Now the backrest kit, we supply two bits of foam. You have a pre-glued piece of one inch foam and then you have some thin foam here. So the process for this is to effectively glue the blue foam in place. Again, center notches are always useful. And then you actually fully wrap the thin foam all over the back, around the bottom, and over the top and sides of the blue foam like that. And once that's all done, you're good to go. So that is the process effectively of sorting and preparing the seat frames and cushion base springs in order for you to be able to start the trimming process on the actual seats. See our other video for a fully trimmed up version of these exact seats.